bring up a couple of these guys from Witness, Witness to Innocence to say a few words about why we're here today. Who's going to speak? Ron? My name's Ron Kiney. I was on death row in New Mexico. I'm not going to tell my whole story right here, but basically I was on death row nine days from my execution when the actual murder, a police officer, walked into a church, said he experienced an epiphany, walked into a church and confessed to the murder, which led to, of course, my release. We're here today representing a group called Witness to Innocence. We're on a tour, myself, Albert, Gary, Suja. We started in Detroit on the 25th. <clears throat> We're on a cross-country tour. We're talking in churches, for organizations, law schools, all the way down the line, with everything ending here. And tomorrow, you know, after everything, we're going to start heading back to our houses. <clears throat> what we're trying to do is bring awareness to the death penalty. Former Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall once said that the average person today does not have the information that is crucial, that is key to understanding the death penalty. He went on to say, if they ever did get that information, they would consider it unjust and totally unacceptable. And the more and more places I go, I find this is true. And what we do, we plant seeds. We plant seeds in the minds of the people who might be for the death penalty. We at Witness to Innocence, what we are, we are a group of exonerees. In order to join our club, you have to have been on death row, waiting for death, because you were sentenced by a jury, jury of your peers, yeah, sometimes, and decided that you no longer are worthy of life. And many of us, we've had our execution dates, we've got, the X on the wall, on the calendar. We know when we're going to die. When something happens to find out that we're innocent. Now, this part's important. It's not the police who do this. It's not our system of government that finds us innocent. It's people like you on the outside that freed the majority of the people in witness to innocence. There's 142 of us right now. 142 people found to be innocent, almost executed. <laughs> Uh, 143. 143. <laughs> and this is not counting other people who have been executed. Ruben Cantu, Carlos De Lunas, Larry Griffin, Todd Willingham. The list goes on and on. There's two cases of William, look it up. It's William Hudspeth and William, Mar William Marion. These are two cases about five years apart in two different states where the men were executed for being a murderer. Within months after they were executed, the murder victim was found to be alive and well and talking. Now we got Justice Scalia. I gotta burn his ass a little bit here. He says that if there ever was an innocent person killed in the United States, executed, that people would be shouting it from the rooftops. So you know, if anybody knows where he lives, go on your rooftop and start shouting those names at him. It's ridiculous. Scalia <clears throat> believes in a constitution that should never, ever, ever be changed. It should be adhered to exactly, exactly like the four founders wrote it. This is what we're supposed to do and never change it. Now, <laughs> I'm... I'm not really for a living constitution, but I, I, I dread a constitutional convention. But figure this, we are not supposed to follow forefathers who themselves held, held slaves, owned slaves, and tried to subjugate an entire human race of people. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for, for coming here today. It's people like you that are going to end this done, get this done. We're going to end this death penalty. We have a government, which we've learned in the last month is totally inept. 
They can't run government. But the American people have always had a history of rising up above the people who govern us. We've thrown them out. We've elected them out. We can do it. Thank you very much.